Welcome to Courtside, everyone, a discussion of the post-election litigation brought by Donald Trump. It is day 42 after the election. Six weeks. My God, what a damn waste of time. Before we get going, I want to say something preliminarily. So many of you are so kind in your Instagram comments and your cheer for this. And if you like what I'm trying to do with Courtside, please tell other people. Please get it out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm not on Facebook. Whatever. I need this to grow in order to keep doing it, particularly since we don't have that many episodes left. I mean, this thing should have been over in episode three, but instead we're like past episode 35 and we could have 35 more. But the comments to me mean more to me than I can say to you. Um, and second, some of you are so kind, sending food, pictures, all sorts of things. And I'm truly grateful for all of that. It means a lot. But I'd be even more grateful if you would take that stuff and give them to healthcare workers. I mean, these folks have been busting their behinds to keep the country safe at a time when the government has failed us. And they are our true heroes. And if you do that, it means the world to me and to so many other people. Okay, lots is happening today. Ladies and gentlemen, you knew that Trump was a loser. You knew he was a crybaby. But today, we also learned that he's a masochist. Now, I really don't want to dwell on that image for long, so I'll just say this. He filed last night a new lawsuit in New Mexico challenging, gasp, drop boxes for voters to return absentee ballots. Now, Trump lost New Mexico by over 100,000 votes and 11% of the population. And what kind of joke legal strategy involves filing a lawsuit 42 days after the election, after the Electoral College has met, and months after these ballot boxes have been around? Today, Donald Trump's litigation count stands at one out of 60 that he has won. And that one didn't get him any votes. He's had 59 losses. And with this New Mexico lawsuit, it's very clear that Trump is going for an even 60. But there was bigger news outside of the court, and it came from the big one, the true big one, Vladimir Putin. Putin called Biden to congratulate him on winning the election. Now, this one's got to hurt. Like, if you're Donald Trump, this is like the Matrix where Cypher betrays Morpheus. You didn't see that coming, but, well, you kind of did. Now, once Vladimir decided to call it for Biden, that allowed Putin's lackeys starting a couple of hours later with Mitch McConnell. Now that Moscow Mitch's Russian bosses said it was okay, he could acknowledge that Biden has won. And indeed, he went so far as to say that it'd be wrong for the Senate to try and interfere with the counting of electoral votes on January 6th. Now, I mean, seriously, McConnell said today this, quote, as of this morning, our country has officially elected a president-elect and vice president-elect. What happened this morning? The electoral college votes were yesterday. Oh, but there was one thing that happened this morning. Vladimir. And Vladimir made it easy for others, not just Moscow Mitch. Consider Newsmax, which I think is officially called Ruzmax. Ruzmax announced today that it would refer to Joe Biden as president-elect going forward. But the world's greatest loser will continue. Trump literally retweeted his lawyer, Lynn Wood, in Georgia, who said that the Georgia governor, Brian Kemp, and the Georgia Secretary of State, Rassenberger, will, quote, soon be going to jail. That's the president of the United States retweeting that nonsense. And I really don't know what he's talking about. I mean, maybe it's conceivable that the Georgia governor and secretary of state want to use their precious time for inmate visiting hours at jail, but do we really think that they care enough about Donald Trump to go visit him? Now, Lynn Wood was part of the Kraken Georgia team. His lawsuit was thrown out last month and his appeal was denied sadly yesterday. It was also revealed today that Donald Trump has secretly told his team, quote, if we don't win, I don't say the word lose. I say, I don't win. Okay, Mr. Trump, we know you don't win. You never do. So tonight, we wish you, Donald, don't win Trump the best. I'll see you tomorrow.